Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Peglin. We are back again in the world of Peglin and I'm excited. The game just got an update as well. Pretty awesome to see. Um, and off the bat, honestly, Eye of the Turtle is such a good grab early on. People have been telling me that I've been kind of missing the mark with uh, grabbing healing and stuff. So I'm going to try and pay a bit more attention to that going forward because honestly... It's been proven time and time again that I'm not very good at this game. Um, so, yeah, that's something that I'm going to try out a little more. I'm, I think here I'm going to try and just get as much money as I can oh, before I hit the bombs. Um, obviously, it's kind of out of my control if we hit the bombs or not. But for the most part, because we've got two primed, I should be able to... Um, I should be able to just destroy them. Like now, I can just go... Bop and make sure I don't take any damage. And then I've got a little bit more time to get a little bit more gold. And then we bop that again. And honestly, pretty good amount. 50 is pretty good. Um, Splat Orb is kind of interesting. Orbalisk is iffy. That one, I've never really sort of found the use in that. A lot of people were saying as well that I, I spend money a bit too frivolously upgrading my stuff early on and should um, look to like use shops and other things early on. So let's, let's buy this and then just not bother upgrading. Normally I would have upgraded that, but people have been telling me that's not really the best way to go about it actually. So I'll take your advice and I'll... Um, I'll hold off on the upgrades a little bit until later on. Because um, I don't need them as much. I can't remember what this does. Um, I got a Bramble level 3. Apparently that got changed. Uh, Bramble, yeah, okay. So uh, Bramble now deals overflow damage, but it does deal two self damage when fired. But apparently Bramble is something that I've also been underrating, especially for Crucible levels. It's something that I should probably pay more attention to. So thank you for those tips. All of you that have been giving me tips in the comments, thank you very much because I am not good at this game. Um, I'm not going to take the fireballs, thank you. Where, which way do we want to go? We can either go shop or elite. I'd honestly rather go shop, uh, elite first. Doesn't matter. I can still go elite, actually. It doesn't, it, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, deal full damage to enemies with resistances. Uh, I think that's probably better because there is some resistances that can be a little bit problematic. Yeah, let's take the two fights over this way. And hopefully, yeah, either turtle here is going to give us some good stuff so the splat orb isn't really all that right now it's decent but it's not gonna really do too much to help us out um i tell you what though i think the bramble here is gonna be pretty damn good because now he has bramble so he can't move and enemies that pass through him will take some extra damage which is pretty good again i want to go for all the money i can get here it's not always plausible to Go for all of it. It's a shame that the Bramble doesn't stay on the body. I realise that doesn't make a, a hell of a lot of sense, but that would be kind of fun if it if it did. And now he's in front. Again, I don't really care about getting crits here, but I got one anyways. Okay, this guy is very toasted. I'm hoping I can just get as much money as possible in this last turn. Um, We do have a Rub Orb to go along with our Splat Orb if we wanted. Uh, we also have a, a Morbid Orb. Um... I don't really know what that's doing. I'm sure it's pretty good. It, it looks like it could be kind of tasty, but I think we're just going to continue onwards. Also, also, people have also been saying that I underrate healing in terms of, like, buying healing. So that's another thing that I should keep in mind a little more often. Um, I'm going to take the blind. I, I'm i not super confident the blind is the right choice there, but um, it seems decent enough. Right, we don't need to use the bramble, the bramble here. Again, just this shot is just going for money. Uh, these guys will die pretty easily. We don't have to worry about them. Um, we're just going to use use the bramble here, anyways. There you go. Look, a bit of damage on you. I was really hoping. I guess I was really hoping I'd get that bomb there. Luckily, I did get it in the end. And then these guys are just easy peasy. All we need to do is get ten damage a turn, which I feel is. More than plausible right now. Uh, let's go for the crit here. I know that it doesn't really make much sense to go for a crit on that guy, but I feel like it's one of those things that I always go for the crit regardless of whether it matters, just because it kind of gets me in the right habit, if you know what I mean. 
was hoping to get that bomb there. This guy's gonna do some damage to us. He's gonna he's gonna mess us up a little bit. He does get 10 blind there though, which is potentially really good. I don't know how much of a difference that's gonna end up making, but we'll see. Uh, blind is, um, okay, so now he has a 20% chance to miss. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. We can, we can work pretty well with that. I was hoping it'd go down there and get the crit, but doesn't matter. A slightly tedious fight here. I don't think we're gonna get 156 this turn, but, eh, we got close. 50, oh my god. This guy's slapping the hell out of me. I took way too much damage here. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, shock Absorber for each bomb detonated this battle. I'd like to build around that at some point, but I don't think it's all that great right now. Um, that's pretty good. We'll take one of those. And I think we'll definitely take a heal here. Um, orbs receive one, two for, the, for every following connected orb of the same type. What? Um... For every following connected orb of the same type. What does connected orb mean? Does it just mean if I have, like, say I have three stones in a row, it'll give me plus one, two for every, for every stone, if they're in a row. Um, prevent the first time you would take lethal damage. Oh, that sounds pretty good. I'll take that. Um, I should have checked what that sword was, actually. I didn't even bother checking. That sounds good. I've also got a punnet of grapes next to me here. Very excited about that. I'm going to be eating those periodically throughout this episode. Whenever the health is lost, deal three times the... Whenever you heal lost health, sorry, okay. Um, That doesn't really float my boat right now. Maybe later on that could be good, but right now the five, five extra damage, it's, it's nothing really, but it's good enough. But the Bramble here doesn't really do much for us, to be honest, but it does do a lot of damage. And it does overflow as well, of course, which is pretty huge for us. Ah, bloody hell. I only primed the bomb and actually finish it off, bugger. Yo, this 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 battle's gone well. Ah, come on, you're gonna miss that crit, really? At least I got a lot of money out of that. Come on, get to it. Yes, there you go. Pretty easy fight there. Um, I'll take a Bulldog and I'll heal again. Bombing applies one blind. Projectile attacks pierce an additional enemy. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go with that. That, that. That's new, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that and the, uh, the Sash of Focus are both new. Um, I saw in the patch notes. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I know that the, the piercing one is new. I'm not quite sure about the Sash. Okay. I think here we just go for as much damage as we can get. I mean, already we've detonated, like, all of these bombs, so that's good. I'm gonna trash that just so I don't waste health on this enemy. At the minute, all I want is more money, I'll be honest. I can, I can leave this guy to... Kind of do his thing for a little bit while I collect some money, I think. If he's okay with that. We'll get just a little bit here. I haven't even used this orb yet. There you go. Good money. Good money. Okay. I... I don't think I need to heal here. Do I start going for upgrades? Let's upgrade this at least, because that'll help for the fight later on. Let's go down this way. So far, so good. Um, This doesn't matter too much. I really like this refresh one. The refresh one's really good. Oh, wow. That was... That was awesome. Also, this piercing plus one thing is bonkers good. I think they heard my cries of pain last time and said they need more ways to add piercing. Um, 
Let's go for a heal just in case here. It's, it might be a little bit of a waste. I'm gonna take out my way. Oh, you bastard. Missed the shot because of that. That was foolish. That was purely foolish. Okay. Really? How did you miss that crit? Come on now. Get all this money. I love the sound of the money in this game. It's so nice. It's a little annoying when you miss it all, though. Yeah, another one bites the dust. Oh, I was really hoping you'd get the bomb there, but you did get the crit. Oh, shit. This thing can't suck. <laughs> Whoopsie. My bad. I'm gonna take some damage here, it's it's kind of fine. I'm just waiting to hit this bomb. There you go. And then... Let's go for another upgrade on that. And as you can see here as well, if I upgrade again it's 35. But, if I wait until the next battle, it's cheaper. So if you upgrade once a battle, you save money in the long run. That's that's basically what someone was pointing out to me, that I was wasting money by double upgrading. It's kind of like, you can do it, but what's the point? Especially early game when you just don't need to. Right, this boss is always a bit of a pain. Luckily, 76 damage off the bat is really good. So is 100. Yeah, this is good damage so far. Oh, come on. Look for that crit there. Hey, I like the way you can just like filter down and get all the money there. Right, I'm hoping because this is heavy, it'll get the bombs. Yeah, I got one of them. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Awesome. Going down, my good sir. There's another bomb. I think that's it. He didn't even get a chance to eat me. Didn't even get the opportunity. Um, upgrade this. Continue on. That's a lot of choices. Right. Um, let's see the ones that we don't know. Orbs get plus two. You can only in four directions. That sounds horrible. All orbs get morbid. Morbid allows orbs to activate blank pegs. Contains one less refresh. I'm going to try that out. We do have two refreshes on the board, so that's not a huge downer. But I kind of I kind of think that could be great if you build towards it at least. But come on get the crit, get the crit, get the crit. Oh, you bastard. With uh, the bramble with piercing as well is real good here. Yeah, this is, this is good. Being able to hit the blank pegs is really good. Lots to stack damage way faster. Okay, this is nutty good. I love this. And I can fucking make bouncy the blank pegs. That's kind of crazy. Okay, I like that. Uh, what is this? Creates money on every nine hit. Cannot activate money itself. That could be interesting. I, don't, I didn't even read what the upgrade of that did. I was just like, ooh, upgrade. Let me actually have a look. Um, Every eight hits, okay. It actually does okay damage as well. That's nice. Right, I think we want to be going left here. Please don't say I messed that up. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I guess. We didn't want a shop anyways. I fired that and immediately felt like I'd messed it up and I had. Yeah, nice. You and your shield are Dunion Rings. Ooh, all 
all the refreshes. I like it. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Magna Orb there. I think I'm just going to heal here, make sure I'm topped up. Straight into the chest. And we do get a chest going this way, but we could have got two shops going that other way. Refresh the board every time you reload. Bombs the Electro Damage. We'll go for the Bombs the Electro Damage. We might as well take this way to get the extra question mark room. Very glad that I, that I did that. We get the short fuse for the instant bomb detonates. It isn't always a good thing, but for the most part it is. It's kind of interesting with this. You probably don't want to use that early. Using that early is probably actually pretty a pretty bad idea. Because if you use it early, there's way more gold already in play. So in that regard, you're kind of losing out. That crit's basically impossible for me to get right now, so... Unfortunately, that refresh is in a really bad spot, and the last thing that we've got available to us is our, um... What's it called? Is our refresh orb. That, we kind of rely on that now pretty heavily. Really? That didn't get you? Nice one. Okay, we are good to go. We'll upgrade you to max as well. And we'll continue onwards. I like the idea of that. It could be cool. Offer stone. Okay, uh, what's this? You're walking down a quiet hallway. One of the bricks under your feet groans at you. You move your foot as an extremely weathered brick slime flips to reveal its face. I'm retired. Leave me alone already. Wait, are you... <laughs> Are those delicious stones I smell? Tell you what, let me eat them and we'll pretend this never happened. Okay. The bricks clutches the stone to dust, lets out a satisfying grunt and then returns to its slumber. You continue on your way. Oh, nice. I just got rid of two stones. That's a sick event. Love that event. Ho oh, ho. This is good. I like this. We don't even need crits to do good damage either. Unfortunately, that does absolutely fuck all damage, but that's fine. At the minute, I'm trying to get more money, and I think I achieved that. But da 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 da. Um, we'll just upgrade that again. Swaltorp could be kind of interesting here. If it can upgrade blank pegs, then maybe it's going to be really good. If it can't, it's not as good. I'm going to try it out. Right, where do we want to go here? I think we want to go the battle first. Because we get to the chest either way. This just gives us some extra loot. Not a particularly nice area here. Oh, God. So... Not particularly understanding this one. Okay, the, the pegs can be destroyed. I was just stupid. Taking some damage, but it's alright. We can heal after this battle. Nice. Yeah, we'll heal up. We'll upgrade that to max. And then... I think we want to go right here for the shop plus, um... So this is not going to go the way I want it to, is it? This is unfortunate because there's just shit all over. It's going to go to the... Why does the game do this to me? Can you fuck off with your plinko bullshit? <laughs> um, That's pretty decent. We'll take that. And we'll take this way because we get two question marks rather than just the one. Which could be bad or it could be good. Um, Flip the coin... Oh, this is the, um, no, no, I don't want to do that. I, I know what relic you're giving me. I do not want it. 
Oh, I will always take this. I love this item so much. It's a bit of a risk, but this is an item I love so much. But now, unfortunately, we should have taken that thing earlier, though. Whenever we heal, we deal damage based on what we heal. That would have been really good, actually. Good, good. Your dead ski. I think we want to get this bad boy out. Ball over them all. Right, now this I'm interested in. Okay, this is nuts. This orb is nuts. It can hit the blank ones. As you can see, this one's at a plus 12. This is, that, that, that orb is crazy good with the setup. With Morbid, that thing is, is just insane. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. I could double up, I, do you know what, I'm, I know it wastes a bit of money, but I'm going to double upgrade there. Every four times the board's refreshed, randomly gain one of those two. Um, whenever you would lose health, reduce the amount lost by one. Bald Wars can contain two additional crits. I think we go with that every four times we refresh the board. Because with our thingy, we're going to be refreshing a lot. Really? You managed to land in there? Why? Right. Here we are, Mr. Man. Now, refreshes are going to be incredibly important for us here, so we'll have to see how we go. We're going to have to see how we go. Oh, really? I hate the fact that that can happen. I think that's such bollocks that that can happen. Yeah, look at this. Plus 21, plus 18. Holy shit. We got up to a plus 21 there on some of these. It's gonna be fat damage. Every time we go down there, it's gonna be fat, fat damage. I remember we can hit these pegs multiple times. Like, look at the damage stack up here. Oh, this is truly something special. Like, let's just do a test. This is an orb which does fuck all damage. Oh, we didn't actually get it in the right spot there, but hey ho. With this one. Will this stop the boss? If this stops the boss, I've been underrating Bramble. It doesn't, okay. I didn't think it would. That would be really overpowered. Yeah, that was nuts. <laughs> that was that was fucking awesome. Um, let's keep the money that we've got right now. And then Ooh, but every activated peg gets upgraded. Wait a minute, let me just see the wording on this. Upgrades. <sighs> every peg activated gets upgraded. I don't know if that's the same thing as the other thing. I'm still going to try it. I It could be a huge mistake. There's a potential chance this was not a good idea. But, is that a new final boss there? Um, that looks like a new final boss. Um, but, I'm intrigued. Oh, no, it works. It works. This was a great idea. This was an absolutely fantastic idea. Our first turns are going to be a little bit sloppy. But after that, things are going to go wild. That's a plus 28 there. Yeah, that's, that's nuts. <laughs> Honestly, just save my money. I've got a lot. Do we have a shop 
coming up. Okay, we do it down to the right there. Probably want to go to the shop. Remove an orb. Let's just remove that. Holy shit. What a crazy build this is. My goodness, the, the, the Bulldog is the best one because it just hits so much stuff. Good. Please see if we can actually navigate to the shop here. Okay, I'm going to have to like purposely carve out a path to the right. That was terrible. That just did not do what I wanted it to at all. This is going to be real rough to get to where I want to go here. I guarantee I end up on the on the uh, on the left hand side here by accident. Good stuff. We do have a, um, a spear level 3, which is a lot of piercing. But honestly, my deck is so, like, built right now. It's going to be tricky as fuck. Oh, my God. Okay. Yes! I was hoping I could slow it down on that little slow orb and get it to drop straight in, and it worked. Right. Um, reduce self damage from orbs by 50%. That's pretty good, but we don't need it. Every reload... Um, heal the board every time we're refresh. Every reload grants that. Then we'll remove the dag orb. And I think we're good to go. Good, good, good. On to the treasure. I think I'm just going to go all right here. Additional crit. I think we're going to go for the additional crit. Keep going right. I'm going to go all the way down this, this way. I could go to that other shop, maybe, potentially. This is such a fun build. It's, obviously, it's not on Crucible, so it's like we're not we're not really like gaining anything from this in terms of like upgrading our Crucible level, but this is still just a lot of fun. Boom. I was really hoping we'd get another um, upgrade orb, but alas, we cannot. Uh, let's have a little look-see here. So we would get another elite followed by another chest if we went this way. But we definitely want to go right at least, I think. I'm going to try my best to go right. Yeah, there you go. And then we can make a decision between these two paths here. Enemies don't get the extra turn for your first reload. I think that's decent. Um, why is it so hard to scroll here? I'm going to go left. I think it's better to go with the uh, the chest than the elite. I know we get an elite and a chest, but we can buy more from, from the shop and there's more, like, options. I think that's potentially better. That hurt a bit. Nice. Oh, there's more of you. What the hell? I wasn't expecting more of you.
Don't you dare land in the fire. Thank goodness. C don't. Oh my goodness. Stop. This is so infuriating. I can't. There you go. Oh my god, that was annoying. That's annoying. What did we duplicate? What did we duplicate? Let's have a look see, shall we? Oh, the refresh one. That's actually fine. I'm going to remove this now because we just don't need it anymore. And it's kind of inconvenient. Um, increase max HP by 15 is actually really good here. And then we do have another one of these, but we have no way of actually upgrading it now. I don't think. Oh, no, we do. We do. We'll buy one of them then. Hopefully we don't hit too many bombs here. We do have 65 HP now, though, which is actually a huge increase for us. It's kind of nutty how good that is. Right. <laughs> that was a whiff and a half. Okay, this is actually getting a bit rough now. I'm going to start taking some hot damage here. There you go, we got a bomb out. That's all I wanted. Reveal that bomb as well. Good, 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 good. Yeah, upgrade. Upgrade. This has, this has been a very cool run. And yeah, this looks like a new boss that I have not seen before. Uh, check behind the waterfall. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Do not know who this is. Do not know what to expect. <sighs> I have absolutely no idea what this is. I don't know what the hell's going on right now. This guy has six... 1,500 health, though. Is it like Minesweeper? Is that the idea here? I mean, actually, so far, this, is, this has been fine. I think it's meant to be like Minesweeper, right? Try to go for the blank area because I get more of the explosions that keep me going over there. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was the easiest boss of all time. What a run. This... Plus this, the best combination you can ever get. Also, Ice Rod was very, very useful early game. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was a really fun run. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.